Welcome back everybody to Virtue's Last Reward. Oh boy. A lot of shit has happened so quickly. I don't even know what to do. Poor Cork has Radical Six, which made him absolutely inconsolable and crazy. We've put him in a little bit of a tranquilized state for now, but everyone's actually sussing on Luna, asking about her medical degree because she seems to know an awful lot about it. Why would I lie about that? So it's just one sussy baka after another. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I clicked out by accident. Never mind. That I've seen happen. other viruses do the same thing. I was just making a guess. Mmm. Girl, you seem so sweet and nice. Don't be a liar now. Come on. I've, I've got the fear of God in me now. Nothing is like I thought. We're not playing nice anymore. Are we? So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six, too? Well, I mean, I... I... in a way... Yes. I guess. At least, I think so. He could have been, like, so feverish that he was, like, delusional or something. <laughs> that can happen. So what kind of virus is Radical Six? Does anyone know? I don't. Luna, do you? How about you, Daddy? No? Nobody knows. Uh, what are you doing? Well, huh? What's wrong? What's wrong, old man? What's the matter? I turn and follow Tenmyoji's gaze. Ma'am? There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. What are you doing? Apparently, she had been the one to take it away from Quark. The longer I looked at her, however, the more I wondered if she'd taken it to protect him, or for some other more sinister reason. Ma'am? Ma'am? You're gonna ha- Ma'am? You're gonna have to drop that. Don't even think about it. What's wrong with you? She didn't seem... stable. In fact, she looked far more like Cork had a moment ago than I was entirely comfortable with. Wait! Don't tell me she's got it too somehow. Oh no, wait, how contagious is this thing though? We didn't even think about that, did we? I don't even think the question was asked. Her eyes were flat and hollow. Her face was an emotionless mask. She was not well. Alice? Oh girl, are you just gonna be trouble left and right, are you? Uh could it have passed that quickly to somebody, though? <laughs> hey, are you feeling okay? We're all going to die. What? What's wrong? What's, what's happened? What do you mean? Huh? What's going on? We're all dead already. Wait, why? You were so sure that you were going to get out of here a minute ago. Only terrorists would resort to biological warfare. Oh. But they oh. will. Soon. Maybe she's freaking out about this specifically? Uh, hey. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, really? You don't understand? No, no. You want to explain it to me? All of humanity is going to die. Oh, is this about the thing that we also read about about the outside world possibly being infected, and now we are? The virus will spread. Uh oh. Adults, children, everyone. Uh oh. Everyone. Whoa, whoa, okay. There won't be anyone left! Uh... I... I'd rather die here! Are you sure? Because you didn't want to die before. No, 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 don't do anything. Wait! Alice! We were all too stunned to even try to restrain her. We just stood there as she spun around and leapt through the door. Damn it! Ah, oh, shit, we gotta go after her, I guess. I shook myself and took off after her. Oh boy. But those few moments of hesitation had put too much distance, too many doors between us. <laughs> shit. Which way did she go? Right? Left? I was still trying to decide when everyone else poured out of the infirmary. You lost her. Well, let's split up at least. Yeah. I don't know which way she went. Well, let's split up and look. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Quickly. She can't have gotten too far. Let's go. Right. Look, if you find her, it's probably best not to shout or anything. Just do your best not to provoke her. Understood? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I get it, I get it. Gotcha. Ten Miyoji, I think you should stay here with Quark. Yeah, that's probably good. The rest of us can look for Alice. Sound good? <sighs> Yeah. 
All right. I stay here. Got it. Yeah, you can do that. Just stay back. All right, let's move, people. Get going. God, what if she goes insane and like trips the bomb off or something? At Fi's command, we scattered, filtering off into different doors. As I ran, I thought, where should I look for Alice? Perhaps the lounge would be a good bet. Okay, and here we are going. Look. All right. Oh. Let's hope, let's hope. I don't know if she's here, though. Girl! You all right? It's me, right? Remember, I'm your friend. I'm not the one who hit Betray. I hit Ally. <laughs> where, where are you? No one here, huh? Damn. Where'd she go? Complaining wasn't gonna help anything. I needed to go look somewhere else. Okay. Where else are we gonna end up? Oh, here, of course, okay. Maybe we could go somewhere, like, to the bottom floor. Crap, she's down there. Oh, I don't know if I like this, though, running around in this fucking metal... metal warehouse alone. It is a very Five Nights at Freddy's, and I'm not sure if anything's gonna jump out at me or not, but I would really rather that it didn't. Please. I'm not good with things like that. I'm not even good with these fucking Resident Evil doors, to be honest, because, like, you never know when something's gonna jump out. And that's gonna scare the- I might pee my pants, actually, and I really don't want to do that. Lord, we are just running. Okay, now we're here. I wonder if she's here. Oh, some jellyfish. I didn't see those before. I didn't even notice them. Ma'am? Shoot. Nothing in the treatment center either. Ah, oh, fuck. We need to find her quick, or she's gonna do something bad. If we hadn't stopped Cork. Well, what were we gonna do? Just let him do that? We couldn't have done that either. I need to hurry. Oh, blimey. Okay, I, I fear I fear that an axe ending is coming, and I really don't want that. I headed to the garden next. But I feel like this can't be an ending either, because we haven't even had the second round of, like, boating, which I assumed was going to happen since they alluded to it. So this can't be the end. Like, this can't, unless I got a bad ending or something. Bee garden for bad garden. Everything's bad. Alice, are you here? I remember you saying you like this place. You're right. Here, have a tomato. Have a sit down. Is she not here? I'd only gone a few steps from the walkway through the grass when I stopped short. Uh oh. Hello? <gasps> Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> Scared me. Alice. Oh, there you are. Is she alright? Good. You, you didn't do something to her, did you? Oh, man, I'm so sussy right now. I'm sus of everyone. I, no one has my trust. I'm glad you showed up. I bet you are. Huh? I just got here a minute ago. Okay. She was like this when I found her. Are you sure about that? When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. Girl, you're too small. What? She's a big girl. <laughs> and she's alive? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. Okay. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. All right, so she's just unconscious. Looks like it. What's going on? Now that kind of reminds me of like June being unconscious suddenly. Oh no, is this gonna be a thing? Like, what if it is though? What if both these outbursts are from the morphogenetic fields or something, or something like it? I mean, we haven't heard hiding or hair of it yet, but I don't even know if it's a thing in this game, but. What about the scalp? Doesn't look like she has it. Wait, where did she drop that at then? That's not good. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Oh no, so we are gonna get set up for an axe ending. Someone's gonna grab that and it's gonna make someone's time bad. Probably mine. I know too much. Hmm. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Okay, let's go. Give me a hand here. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm here to help. Alice was lighter than I expected, and Fi and I managed to set off towards the infirmary at brisk trot. There we go. Oh, man. All right, hello. We're back. Is there another bed we can put her in? All right, please pay attention, everyone. Whoa, this fucking angle. <laughs> excuse, <laughs> excuse me. Okay, so we have a sheet we could put on her or something? You know, just in case. What if the necklace slips? You need to hear this. Okay. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. 
Okay, what does it say? What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. Wait, is it because she touched him, perhaps? But if it's that contagious, that means we all have it already. She has also been infected with Radical Six. Oh boy, okay. On her way back, Phi had gone off to retrieve the rest of the participants. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh no. That's bad. How did he, how did, how did they get no. it? No. That's real bad. What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. Right, right. There's a special antiviral treatment. But we don't have access to that here, do we? Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Hey! Wait, we read about that on the paper that we found. IG, remember? Immunoglobulin? Uh oh. <laughs> it's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. Okay. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. Right. We saw a paper that had that very thing on it. Curious. Okay. Wait, what about those pods in the treatment center? Can't we just stick them in those? Right. I thought of that too. Yeah? So I went and took a closer look at them. You did? Unfortunately... They can't cure it? Correct. No, but they can maybe keep it from, like, getting worse until we figure something out, perhaps. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus itself. Right, right. The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can find some Excelivir. Okay. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Right. Yes. That's probably the best option at this point. Well, then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. All right, hopefully this thing doesn't spread by contact or we're all fucked already. Jesus Christ, did no one stop to think about this? As he spoke, Temioji moved over to Cork and lifted his small, unconscious body off the bed. Cork shifted slightly as Temioji moved him and something fell out of his pocket with a soft clink. What's that? I bent down slowly and picked it up. What? Wait, I beg your fucking pardon. Is this medicine? What? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa! What is this? How convenient that it's what we need? Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if I trust that. Well, what is it? Wait, how? Wait, why? Hold on. There's a name on the label here. Axel, Axel of. Excelivir! She just said it, Sigma. You don't remember? You found it, Sigma! But it was in his pocket, though. That's the one thing that can cure Radical Six. Okay. I, I uh, do kind of love when they all come sliding in. Why did Quark have it? That's what I'm saying. And then he had the virus as well. Something isn't adding up here. Perhaps he found it earlier. Maybe. Earlier when? We explored the laboratory. Oh, you did? That's right. But did you have your eyes off of him? I guess you might have. It was on the other side of the red door. Okay. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. All right, but you didn't think to say anything until now? He hid it? Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. Right. I did not have the opportunity to ask, as he oh. collapsed immediately afterwards. Oh, I guess so, all right. It didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for it after that. Well, I mean, but he's unconscious, he doesn't know. To be honest, it had also slipped my mind. I guess so, because a lot of stuff happened. I want I want to trust you. Iron Daddy, but I don't know if I can. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. True, true. Who cares about the details? We have it. Yeah, let's go. Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Hey, hold on a minute. Yeah? What about Alice? Well, do we have enough for both? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We only have enough for one, don't we? I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? What's the problem? There's only enough here for one person. Oh, fucking God. Of course there is. Oh, Jesus. What do we do? The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. Oh, no. And the way it functions, it uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. Wonderful. That seems efficient. In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right, right. Right. Oh, dear. 
While we all stood stunned, Fai moved. Stepping over to Cork, she quickly ran her hands through his clothes, then stepped back with a frown and a small shake of her head. Nothing. I guess she thought maybe he had some more... That one bottle was it. Yeah. Probably placed on purpose. Just the one would make sense, right? <laughs> Do you think there might be some more back in the laboratory? No. Unfortunately not. You checked, did you? No. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Just enough medicine for one dose. Uh-oh. Okay. Only one person can be saved. Yep. I see that. Who should we give it to? <laughs> well, I guess one. But wait, do I get to decide or is it everyone's deciding? I'm not going to say my answer until everyone else does, because what if I look like an asshole? Alice. Or Quark? Listen, I think you guys know what I'm going to say. Normally, I would want to save both of them, but guess who betrayed me, actually? It was Alice, wasn't it? It wasn't the kid, so guess what? Oh, it's the consequences of your actions. Here they are. This sucks, though, because what if this ending happens with other people? It's going to suck ass. What the hell is this? There's no way we're only going to save one of them. What are we going to do? Well, I don't know. Is there any way we can duplicate this stuff? Do I have to spell it out? We're gonna save them both! How? That's... Ugh... You guys won't tell us what I said, right? About, you know, saying, <laughs> Well, guess you don't get it, right? No. I needed to calm down. Think. There had to be some way to save both of them. It was there. I, I knew it. Oh boy, oh boy. What, hello? Wait, what do you mean? What does that, wait, wait, huh? What does that mean though? To be continued? Wait, what? Why am I saving now? Oh no, oh no, oh no. You don't save in an active LP though. You don't save in an, well, you never do. No, you guys know the drill. I didn't, I didn't expect that to end there. What the fuck do I do? Oh, what? Oh, wait, what? I didn't even get to the ending. How come? What's happened here? Can someone explain it in the comments, please? What happened over here? Um, it looks like it's just black. Oh, wait a minute. Is it one of those things where, like, you have to... Maybe I had to have picked another route first to get whatever's happening here to go forward? Maybe that's what it was. Oh... Oh, I want- Oh my fuck! Look at all these endings, though! You guys aren't expecting me to get all these endings. I'm assuming the ones that go past this bar here, like all these, are the actual endings that you're trying to get, right? Like, yeah, like, surely these ones look like maybe they're bad endings or something, and sometimes they go further, and I'm assuming this group is what I want to get, is it not? Oh. Um, wh what happens now? Hello? I- I- th I'm seeing this for the first time, I don't know. Oh, we're back here! How do I skip? How do I do a thing? I don't need to see this again. I really don't. As much as I love it. Um. Okay. Can we... How do we go forward? Is there a way to go forward? Surely there's a way to skip, right? Oh god, oh god, okay. Um, uh, hang on a tick, flow chart, can I just go by all of it, yes, can I go here, elevator after escape into the CD, so into the chromatic doors, right, can I, it won't let me click them, oh wait, no it does, do you wish to jump, that's fine, right, because that's exactly what I did in the last one, yes, Oh, okay, okay, I'm here again. Right, okay, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was just like a little bit jarring. Um, I wasn't sure what to do. Right, okay, let me get situated here real quick. Uh, so let's do, we did cyan. I have to remember now what we've done. I need to, I, I think I wrote it down. Where's was my papers. All right, here's my paper. We did cyan with Alice first, that's easy. We can just pick any of the others. Okay, fine, I will. 
go through the magenta door with Luna, go through yellow with Tenmyoji, and go through Cyan with Alice. Uh, maybe I'll just do them in order so that I know like where I'm at. So I think I will go through the magenta door with Luna. I think that's what we're gonna try. I think we'll pair up with Luna and head through the magenta door. Are you guys good with that? Sure. I mean, since I know what Alice is gonna do, but what the fuck, I continue. I, de I definitely didn't expect that. And now I'm a little convoluted because I'm still thinking about what happened, damn it. All right. Okay. Then Clover and I will go with Alice. All right, I'm sure that's gonna work out just fine. As long as I get to go with Alice, I'm fine. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'm sure it's just one big party. I don't have any objections. I know you don't. We'll be going through the yellow door, right? Okay. That means Dio, Quark, and I are doing the cyan door. Well, that's good, right? That means you're also with the person you know, so maybe this is the right this, maybe this is the right door to pick. Ugh, stuck with a kid and some old fart. Listen, Clockwork Orange, steal. I can't see how this could possibly go badly. <laughs> Not my problem. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and you'll pull your head out of your ass. <laughs> I do kind of like this. What did you just say? <laughs> Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Okay, okay. Nine, eight, seven. Let's go. We need to hurry. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, zero. Right. Chromatic doors closing. All right, bye guys. See you on the flip side. That means we're only gonna have time for part of whatever the um, the escape room is here. Sorry about that. I don't usually like to like uh, break up the escape rooms, but it seems like we've been having to do that so far because of just the way this is uh, pacing. The puzzles are a lot more elaborate, so sorry about that. We'll we'll get through somehow. Right. Okay. So this is the uh, this is the lounge. We saw it briefly before. What is this place? Didn't you see the door? Yeah. It said this is the lounge. Right. Lounge? Does that mean there's somebody living here? Well, there doesn't seem to be much dust. No, that's true. Maybe there is. Or maybe it was for the people that used to live here. Hmm. So you've got a well-used lounge right next to a big empty warehouse? What is this building for? Not sure. Oh. Beats me. <laughs> well, two pretty ladies. How could I go wrong today? It looks like there are four doors in here. Okay. Yeah. The one we came in, the one opposite it, mm -hmm. and two more on the left and right. Okay. The two on the sides are covered with metal plates, though. Oh, okay. Don't think we'll be opening them anytime soon. So if those don't count, at, at least for now. <laughs> I guess that just leaves us one option. No, that's gonna- that's totally gonna be blocked, dude. Oh, no good. This one's locked, too. Yeah, because it has a lock on I didn't see any other it. doors in the hallway we came through. Well, I guess we gotta give him a break, right? Because technically we started over. This is his first real escape room, so we gotta give him a little break on it. Maybe we can find one of the keys to the A-B room in here somewhere. Yeah, I think we can. Why not? Well, it's not gonna find itself. Let's go. Right, okay. Find a way out. Whoa, whoa, what was that lag? Hello? I'm getting a little bit sussy here with this game. I don't know what's happening. First of all, it making me save in an active LP? I think not, actually. <laughs> I think not. Oh, look, there's like a, a, I think this is like a drink mixer or something, or like, what is this? A button. Nothing happens when I push it. Ah, oh, it's like to serve a drink. What the hell is this? A helmet? How on earth does this look like a helmet? Well, if it's not a helmet, what is it? Uh, maybe it's a bread maker? Or one of those automatic cat feeders? What? It kind of does look like that. Um, there was a thing on the bottom. Did anyone see it? Garbage. Oh, look, this is where I live, guys. Here we are. The countertop. What's this thing? Pee in it, Sigma. That's what you gotta do. Some kind of sink? Ah, clever. If you get wasted, you can just puke into here. Uh, that's not what it's for. Well, it could be used for that. There's an icon on the counter above it. 
Huh. I guess it's a drain. You pour leftover drinks down it. Okay, we might need to do that for something. Let's see. Martinis! Oh, Pog, let's have two needles. Those almost look like clock hands or something. They're long, thin, pointy pieces of metal. Are they needles of some kind? Why are there two of them? I don't know. Oh, an empty glass. A glass. Do you think it could be a cocktail glass? There's nothing in it. That's all right. An empty glass. Well, maybe we could fill it with something. Do I want to get all of them? Oh, sure enough. Another? So we have three. All right. Nothing here now? Coasters, huh? Yeah. This is where the booze goes. You mean, this is where the glass that the alcohol is in goes, right? Details, details. Nobody's gonna try and pick you up if you keep being so anal. Oh, shit, wait, I'm sorry, what? I don't think you can pick them up. Huh? These coasters? They're attached to the counter somehow. That's an odd thing to do with a coaster. Uh-huh. So why? Who knows? Maybe they're part of a puzzle? What's this? This iPad. I wonder what this screen is for. It doesn't look like it's turned on. Can you see a switch? No, nothing. All right. Can't look at the bottles just then from, from that angle. What's this? Oh, it looks like a globe or something fell apart. Mysterious disc. What's this about? What's this thing? Some kind of top? It's got these cones in the center. Yes, but look at the edges. It looks like part of a map. Could this be part of the Earth? Oh, sure enough, it's like the middle part of the globe. And then we've got this part here. Northern Hemi Hemisphere. Oh, Pog, look at that. There it is. This looks like a model of the Earth. Or at least part of one. This has Eurasia on it. It's like someone sliced the Northern Hemisphere in half. I guess we can call it the Northern Hemi Hemisphere for now. Uh, combine or wait? I'm probably gonna wait on that. I wonder what this is. It looks like a banana hanger. Uh, I... <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry, what? What? Is that even a thing? Yeah, of course it is. Haven't you seen those things? They have them at Ikea. Of course. You've never seen one? Supposedly, if you hang your bananas like that, instead of, like, put them down, they stay fresher. I don't know if that's actually true, though. If you want your bananas to stay the freshest, you take a piece of plastic wrap and you wrap it around the top where the ends are cut. Uh, and that, that helps. Well, it only looks like one. I think it's something else. <laughs> so we have no idea what it is after all. Listen, not everything is wins. Can't win all the time. Uh, is there something on this wall? What does this say? There are some letters on the wall. Some of them are black and some are red. R L R L O E D I I M L I O O N R O N E N Uh I can't see because of her portrait what's going on with the RLRL, but I wonder if it's like, if it's, you have to read like maybe the red letters together and then the black, E D M O R one, but that doesn't really spell anything, does it? Uh, let me write this down. R L R L O E D I, I M L I, O O N R, O N E N. Is this some kind of code? I'm just running. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little like R underneath the L L O I I L I O N, and then the last N. Right? Yeah. I hope it's not a boggle thing because God help me. I am so bad at that damn game. That would suck. A lighting fixture with a cover on it. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about it. I don't know. A metal sheet that kind of looks like a door. It's been bolted to the wall. There's the safe. What about underneath it? Aha. What's this? A note? 
It looks like a page from a journal. You have found a fragment of a bartender's diary. You can review it in the archive. Thank you. Anything over here? Aha! It's my globe. The southern hemi-hemisphere. Part of a model of the Earth. It's got the southern end of Africa and all of Australia. Half of the southern hemisphere. I guess that would make this the southern hemi-hemisphere. I, I understand. All right. So we're still on the lookout for that. Should we read that archive note? I think so, probably, huh? Bartender's journal. Three customers came in today, a couple and their son. The father sat in the center with the mother on the left and the son on the right. When I came to take their order, they said the following. My wife likes the color red and I like white. My son has always liked ocean. My son has loved the color blue ever since he was a child. My husband likes island and I like planet. My mother and I like moon. My father likes anything green. One of them was a liar, but I swiftly made their drinks and handed them over. <gasps> oh, this is going to have to do with that martini glass thing. We're probably going to have to pour correct colored and possibly labeled drinks, I bet. Ooh, okay. Well, let's hold on to that for now because we're definitely going to want to look at that some more. Keep going. Oh, here's another part of the globe. The northern hemi-hemisphere, okay. Is this a model of the Earth? This looks like North America. It looks like someone took the northern hemisphere and chopped it in half. Why don't we just call it the northern hemi-hemisphere? I think at this point, we can probably combine the two northern parts. No? Most of the north hemisphere, right. And then when we find the southern, we can put that together as well. And then maybe put the middle on it and see what happens. Huh? There's something behind this cushion. Wait, seriously? Oh, I was just looking at the couch. I just wanted to have a seat. Is this a magazine? What is it about? It looks like astronomy. You have found an astronomy magazine. You can review it in the archive. Let's take a look. Astronomy Today. Magazine of all, all things astronomy. The issue appears to be about the lunar eclipse, which is not the first time we've heard about this. The article says a lengthy lunar eclipse will occur 4.50 p.m. on 12.31.2028. Oh, Jesus. In other words, at 4.50 p.m. you can see a total lunar eclipse. Wait a minute, 4.50 p.m.? That's it? That's it. Okay. 4.50 p.m. Red leather cushion. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, achoo! Wait, what? What happened? Hey, come on, that was a real sneeze. It was dusty. Oh, anything behind this one? No. Okay. There's a clock here. What's this say? Red, white, blue, island, green, moon, black, ocean, yellow, earth, sun, planet. Oh, this is also those things that the bartender was talking about. This thing looks weird. Huh. Is this supposed to be the sun or something? There are 12 words on it. They're arranged kind of like at the spokes of a wheel. Let's see here. Red, white, blue, island, green, moon, black, ocean, yellow, earth, sun, planet. Huh. Uh, it also looks like a clock though. It also looks like a clock. So what? hang on a sec. Didn't I say that these look like a clock thing? Can we use them? Problem is, what do we do? It looks like a clock, but it doesn't have any hands. Do you think those needles you found might go on there? Let's see. Oh, hey. There we go. Um, but what time do we set? Wait a minute, we already, we got a time. 450? That's the only time we've seen so far, right? Try it. I'm assuming yes. Uh, okay, so where would 450 be? I can't tell which hand is... I guess this is the bigger hand right here? I think so. Well, I put the hands on the clock, but nothing's happening. What if you move them? Move them where? I don't know. Experiment. Alright. Let's give it a try then. Move the hand to a specific time, then press the check button. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, so if this is the big hand, then we want this to be there and we want this to be on sun. How do I move the, how do I move the little one though? That one, yes. I want, I want it there for four. Oh, do I have to, oh. Uh oh, I should have known. I was like, maybe I could move them <laughs> by themselves. But no, one more. There we go. That should be it right there. Oh, is it not? Did I do it wrong? Oh, shit. Oh, wait, no, I did it backwards. <sighs> did I do it backwards? Seriously? I know how to tell time, guys. Don't you worry about it. Don't worry, I've got this under control. I know how clocks work. Jesus Christmas, don't ask me. I grew up with a damn digital clock. How about 450? That puts the shorthand at green and the longhand at sun. A green sun? What? Whoa, 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 I'm sorry, what happened? Oh shit. Whoa, that scared the crap out of me a little bit. There's a beam of light coming out of the center of the clock. That's pretty impressive. Where does it go to? Let's look. It's shining over here. Oh my gosh, look, it's going through the, the globe thing. Oh, okay. But we haven't found all of them, have we? We're missing a part, are we not? We are, so we have to we have to find it before we can go on. Uh and I think I might have just I don't know how I didn't see that before. This looks like the southern tip of South America. Do you think that this is a model of the Earth? I think this is half of the southern hemisphere. I suppose we could call it southern hemi-hemisphere. I gotcha, I gotcha. So, yes, combine the southern with the other part of the southern. Alright, and then can we put it together with uh, the disc in the middle first? I'm assuming yes, because doesn't that look like it goes in the middle? Aha! And then, combine it with, yes. I got a globe! Good work! You've made a globe. And if you look closely at it, I think it's actually transparent. Aha, so that's what we're gonna have to do. A shelf for alcohol. Oh, I should probably check here as well. Oh, oh, I think I'm about to get all the liquor. Oops. What a powerful shade of red. It feels so passionate. Maybe this would be good for trying to woo a girl. <laughs> Wanna try some, Luna? Hey, I see what you're trying to do. Why do you care? You don't like me anyway. Hey, man, mind your damn business. All right, let me just get them all. Uh-oh, oh boy, oh no. Oh, <laughs> I've made mistakes this day. Sigma's pants just full of alcohol. There are a lot of bottles here. How'd you like to have a drink with me? Huh? Oh, um... What happened? You really think this is a good time to be making a pass at someone? Yeah, just turn around. You Don't mind what I'm doing, mind your business. She's getting all nervous now. Uh, but Douglas, don't worry about what the adults are up to. Oh my god, now we've got all these goddamn bottles in here. Shit, I should have done the globe thing first because that's gonna take me forever to like roll through them. Shit. Alright, uh, let's put it in here and see what happens. Oh, I get it. The completed globe goes here. Yeah. Just like this. Okay, what happens? Blue planet. Perfect. Whoa, 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 what's this say? Real. Religion moon on moon. What in the world? I don't get it. I mean, I do get it. The black letters say red moon. Is that what we're supposed to look at? I probably. What does that mean, though? Red moon, and this says blue planet. I'm writing it down. Red moon, blue planet. This is definitely about the drinks. No, for certain. My mother and I like moon. My father likes anything green. Oh, shit! 
The clock was called Green Sun, was it not? Hang on, let me write that down. Green Sun. One of them was a liar. How do we know which one is the thing? I'm, I'm terrible at these kind of riddles. Sometimes I get them right away and then sometimes I can't. My wife likes the color red and I like white. So if mother likes red and moon, the red moon is probably hers. Blue planet. My husband likes island. And I like planet. Blue planet. But the sun likes blue ever since he was a child. Sun also likes ocean. Huh. I just wonder. Is red moon, blue planet, and green sun what we should make? Like, those are... Ooh, huh. But I, you know what I think I'm gonna do? Think on this, and then in the next one, I'll start it right away from here. Uh, we'll go ahead and mix some drinks. And you know what? Fi's just being fussy. Maybe if I make her a drink, that she'll mellow out a little bit and we'll figure it out. I can't believe we already got to a sort of ending. Hopefully you guys can explain how that works in more detail so that I don't get so blindsided this time. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. This is getting exciting and also confusing, but that's okay. I'm here for the long haul. I will see you guys soon in the next episode. Toodaloo!